Hello guys, my hello back in with another new video. Now you guys know about Google Fonts, right? So the most probably the largest possible fonts collection, uh, which you can use for any of your project because all of the fonts fonts are free. And the most like most beautiful thing about Google Font is they provide the CDNs to be able like with which you can totally like connect that CDNs to your projects and use that font to your font in your website. So pretty much cool thing, right? Now, uh, rather than Google Fonts, if any other font, like any other resources is there or not, which can do some like such stuff. I have uh, like wondered for it uh, a long ago, many times, and uh, but didn't find anything. Okay. But today I find a resources just like not just like Google Fonts is not that much of a like uh, like what I can say the that much of uh, upgraded or that much of it doesn't have that much of features because uh, obviously it is open source and maintained by totally open source community. That's why it doesn't have that much of uh, like thing, but it's also good. OK, and you can find some of the fonts that are available nowhere but free uh like web font obviously web fonts that are available nowhere but here okay so let me share with you the uh, website so here we are at our today's website that is exe fonts now basically that's name of the site is docs.exe style slash fonts whatever pretty much not like a weird name whatever we don't want to talk about that. So Exifonts is a free open source service for delivering font families to website using CSS. That's it. And this is pretty much like Google Google Fonts. And here you are getting the JS delivery CD and link. So obviously you can totally rely on them. So in the font section, we have like pretty much uh, tons of fonts that you can see over here. So let's go to some of this like IBM Plex, okay. IBM Plex Sans, let's go to that. Okay, so here you will get obviously two of the methods to import and to link it in your HTML or wherever you want to and importing into CSS directly. And in users, they have told you what to mention over to your CSS file while using it, like font family, like font name, then sans serif and all. And here you don't get the option to choose your font families okay so you have to import all of them in order to be uh, able to use it you don't get a uh, chance like option like uh, that a have uh, google fonts have where you get to choose all of your fonts which which fonts you want which ones you need and will be able to import all of those into your site but you don't get that here and another thing is you don't get any preview of the font. That's another downside of it. Obviously, I will say downside of it because we have something better than it. But still, it is providing some of the fonts that are not available in Google Fonts. So that's also fine for me, to be honest. So that's it about this website, whole website. You can simply use it. Now, I don't want to like I, I am not here to teach you how to use those fonts in CSS like CSS or HTML or whatever you can learn it from anywhere else like how to use custom fonts in your in your website and all like there are tons of other resources for that I just wanted to share this resource because this is great this is really really great and we have interior also so yeah pretty much great that's it that's it about this website that's it about this whole video if you like my channel in general please do subscribe to my channel and if you like my channel in general, why would you like my channel in general? If you like my videos in general, please do subscribe to my channel. And if you know about some of the great resources like this, like sites and all, please let me know about all of them in the comment section below so I can feature them in my next videos, future videos. And like everyone will get helped by it. Yeah, that's it. Bye for now.